Welcome to Ground Control. We are reviewing a 8020 motor with a gearbox and prop brush system. So I ordered one of these just to put it together to see what kind of thrust you could get out of one of these. So let's go ahead and take a look at the size of prop that it comes with. So this prop is approximately five and a half inches. Let's see, let's move it up here. Five and seven eighths. Okay, so it's five and seven eighths diameter or let's look at the metric system. It's about 140 millimeters. So, um, I was looking for a motor and prop combination that I could either use as an upgrade for the WL Toys F949 Cessna 182 or for the Volantex Mini Train Star. Uh, mine needs a new motor. Um, it's pretty much worn out. I think I've got about 50, 60 flights on that little plane. So, the first thing that I would suggest you do before you actually put this motor together, this is what I did is take this little housing because it, you know there's no easy way to mount this thing in a plane so take take a piece of plywood take your plastic housing and trace that puppy out ahead of time before you assemble it okay and the reason i say that is because you're gonna you're gonna have to mount this um prop motor gearbox in some type of airplane right so what i that's what i did I went and I I traced it out and it gave me a pretty snug fit in this little piece of plywood that's about an eighth of an inch thick, very lightweight. And that's what I typically use to make my motor mounts out of. So I basically just um, traced that, cut it out of the plywood, and that created a very nice snug fit for the housing. And then I I pushed the housing halfway through the plywood and then just applied super glue. I mean super glue, excuse me, hot glue on both sides of the housing on each side of the, the you know, the front and the back of the little piece of plywood that I used for the mount. The other thing that I found with this motor, 8020 motor, gearbox and prop combination is that the prop was very, very out of balance. When I first ran it up, um, it had one heck of a vibration in it. And so I basically just had to, I took a piece of painter's tape and cut, uh, cut a small piece of painter's tape and and just attached it to the blade and moved it out and, and, and got it to, you know, got it on the correct blade, the, the lightweight blade and then got it in the correct position where it added enough weight to the prop to where you know it's, it's pretty darn smooth now um, so the prop is now fairly well balanced um, i can tell you that i put this on a thrust stand you get you only get about 50 even with the five and what i say it was five and seven eighths or 140 millimeter um, diameter prop you only get a, even with an 80 uh 820 8 millimeter by 20 millimeter motor, you only get about 50 grams of thrust out of it. So I think that this is going to work out well as a replacement motor for my uh, Volantex Mini Train Star because that plane's all up weight, um, you know, including the battery, is about 44, 45 grams, something like that. So, so yeah, I think this will make a good. Uh, replacement motor for the Volantex train star and that's what I'm going to use it for so um, this is our initial review of this motor I'll go ahead and connect it up here to a, a little micro receiver I've got it's fairly easy to assemble to put together I'll probably do another little video a little tutorial on assembling this little brushed motor and gearbox and prop it's not difficult of course I'll have to take the prop back off to install it in the plane but um, the hardest part of the whole thing was you know making the uh, making a motor mount plate for it okay so I've got this hooked up we'll go ahead and run it up oops 
Make sure I don't blow everything off of the table here. Let me get this other motor gearbox and parts out of the way so I don't lose them. And then, like I said, we'll do an assembly video of this thing. But yeah, it puts out about 50 grams of thrust. And um, like I said, now that I've got the prop balanced, it turns pretty smooth. And I think that's going to be an excellent um, replacement for my Volantex Mini Train Star motor or, you know, really any brushed airplane that's about that same size and weight. You're definitely going to want something that's going to have an all-up weight of less than 50 grams so you have enough power to do some basic acrobatics. So I will put a link to this in the show notes, a direct link to this uh, motor gearbox and prop. So if you have a brushed system that... It doesn't have a spare or if you're wanting to upgrade it, maybe you have something that puts out less than 50 grams of thrust. This is a pretty inexpensive little deal, um, especially as a replacement motor for the Volantex Mini Train Star. So hopefully in the next uh, week, I will have a video up with this motor, gearbox, and prop combination in the Volantex Mini Train Star, and we'll see how it performs. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to take a look at our Patreon site because we have a lot of free content there as well. I will put together a short assembly video of that brushed motor uh, gearbox and prop in case you want to take a look at it. And I will see you in the air.